All right, we are back. So, you were reading your book, and went to sleepers. Went to sleep and woke up the next morning. Yes. Bright and early. What yes. do you do? I am going to get up nice, you know, normal time. Check out the inn. And I'm gonna uh, head out to Swampside. On your lonesome? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure I. Do I get stopped by like guards or like anyone who's like, oh, no. You, so you go straight into the swamp early, like right at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. I'm just walking into the swamp to Swampside. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's not that simple. It's like. There's a large portcullis that they used to, because it's a well-fortified city, to keep away the creatures from the swamp. Um, so it's closed right now, and it's guarded. There's four guards on the ground, and there's a few in some sentry towers high up. Alright, so I wouldn't be able to get through. I mean, do you try? Well, are there guards posted? Yes. And, and it's closed? Yes. I walk up and I, I ask one of them, you know, uh, yeah. would it be at all possible for me to, uh, get through here, sir? <laughs> I have important business at Swampside. <laughs> they chuckle. Uh, uh, and the man that you're addressing looks you up and down. <clears throat> Is this a joke? No. I, uh... Barrett, did you put him up to this? You son of a bitch. And he looks at him. Hell no, nah, I didn't. He gives you a look again, spits on the ground. What the fuck you think you're gonna do in the swamp? Oh, I don't wanna go to the swamp, I wanna go to swamp side. All uh, by yourself. Yeah. Kid, have I mean, you lost afraid. your marbles? Do you I mean, know how just, dangerous- Just yesterday, I, I came from, I just came from swamp side alone. Uh, you, because I didn't. <laughs> he he wasn't one of the guards. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe heard of some random kid coming from the swamp alone. Uh. No, I can't say that I do, but it's up to me and the boys here who gets to head out into the swamp, at least from this direction. I mean, I guess I could just go around, but... Well, I guess you could. If you got a death wish. Look, it's my job to warn you that the caravans are in place for a reason. Now, there's a caravan leaving probably in another two days. And it's going to be loaded with people and all kinds of armed guards. You get to your destination no problem. Don't know why you're so hasty to throw away your life. I just... Uh, I have a friend and uh, I haven't seen him in a while. And, and, and I'm really excited to see them again. And I don't... I don't know. I just, it doesn't really... I, I'm willing to take my chances. Can you... Uh, I've never been... Can you roll me a persuasion check? If you're trying to persuade him? Because you're a pretty young guy and he's very skeptical that you're going to make it to the other side intact. 20. Can, can you finish what you were saying? Sorry, I cut you off. Oh, and I just say I uh I've never really been the cautious type. It's uh Yeah. 
Well, I understand. If you're, you're, you're going, there's nothing I can do to stop you, one way or another. Just, uh. Well. Harold, raise the gate. We got a man leaving. And I they say thank start you. to raise sure. the gate. I, uh, and he gives you a very skeptical look and shakes his head. Well, might be the last time I see you. Good luck. I walk out and uh, begin the trek towards Swamp Side. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, as I said before, you know that this journey is going to take approximately, for y at your pace, about 12 hours. So like a day and a half. Yeah. Something like that. And you push <sighs> onto right. the swamp. It's my swamp. Uh, anything that you do over the course of the eight hours? Uh, this is... It, you said it, uh, this is 12 hours by walking, not, yep. not speed. By well, you, you yeah. You don't own a horse. Yeah, I know. I guess I, uh, yeah, I'll uh, head out towards Swamp Side. I'm just kind of uh, walking with my quarter staff, uh, you know, playing, you know, every once in a while, I'll kind of look at my daggers you know check them good night. and I'd like to say I have so I have four daggers yeah so, yeah so I have I, I'd like to think that you know how people have they'll have like daggers like here and there or whatever like you can pull out like that so I have like I have like two two uh, sheaths on my side on my hip mm -hmm. and then two kind of upper torso like that I can pull out uh, actually, one, one, uh, kind of on my chest, just one that you can pull out, and then one near my boot. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So I like check to see everything's okay, and I'll just continue on if nothing bothers me. Um. Is it? Is it? The swamp. Your... Mm -hmm. Sorry. Continue. The swamp is louder now. Okay. Again. Just a little side note. <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna ask that if it's the normal volume again. Mm -hmm. Uh. So I noticed that I'm like, oh, it's good. Uh, indication that there's no spoopies around. Uh, yeah, continue on. Cool. Okay. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to... So, four hours into your travel for the day, you feel the earth begin to tremble. Oh. I guess I ready my quarter. Would I know it's an earthquake or no? Or would I think it's an earthquake or no? Yeah. It seems like it's an earthquake. I kind of grip my... Lean on my quarter staff and wait for it to pass. Okay. It passes after like five minutes. Cool. Yeah, I continue on. Okay. Long lost tales of Boule. <laughs> Alright, uh... Uh, yeah, another eight hours, or another four hours pass, sorry. And <clears throat> you're still along the trail. Um, you know, it's maybe like 4.30 p.m. by now, something like that. Yeah. And do you settle down for the night? Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming it's there's dry area. Yeah. Okay. 
So you set up your bedroll and your tent, and yeah. do you eat a rations or uh, or do you hold off? Uh, I had a big. I think I had a. I'm gonna. Can I recon and say I had a big breakfast before I left? Or a nice breakfast before I left? No. 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 Nope. Uh, because right. you said you uh, walked right out and didn't do anything. Right. So yeah, I'll eat a ration. Mhm. Mm cool. Yeah. All right. Yep. Ration. Good. Uh, and you settle down for the night. Alrighty. Yeah. Read gonna, more of the book. Mm -hmm. It's more of the same stuff. Um. <clears throat> trying to remember what it was that I was gonna impart into you this time. Dang it, there was something, yeah, there was something. Um, I'll tell you when I remember what it was that you learn. Um, but you learned something mm -hmm. reading tonight. Um, and you sleep. And... Uh, it's uneventful. I wake up, uh, pack up, stretch, uh, you know? Mm-hmm. And, uh, continue to swamp side. Sweet. Another very boring and uneventful four hours as you're slogging through the marsh. Um, it's really hot and humid. Some of the planks are actually starting to get sunken into the ground and you have to kind of go around. It takes a little bit longer. Your shoes get a little bit wet. And, um, but yeah. You managed to get to Swampside without too much trouble. Cool. Does Swampside have a gate? Yep. Like this one? Mm-hmm. It's a uh, very similar, but it's different. Um, let me pull up the sheet for it. So Swampside. <clears throat> is a large town. It holds great regional significance for both the humans and the Asphodians as a source of trade, commerce, and travel. Swampside works tirelessly with the town of Edgeville to keep the passage through Wraithmars uh, openly, relatively safe. Uh, and despite the fact that Swampside is within a human-controlled territory, its population is nearly equal parts Asphodian. It has a strong military presence and a rather uncharacteristically inclusive society. And mm. you know what that means, that, uh, because you've been through several times. You know that there is mostly human and elf, but there are dwarves, gnomes, and half-elves here. Absolutely. So it's kind of inclusive. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. I uh, head into Swampside and the guy let me through the gate. Uneventfully? Or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I wouldn't say uneventfully. Oh, He's I mean, like, like... They're like, what? You know, surprise. Like, what the hell? Where'd you come from? Oh, I guess I, I say, uh, came from Edgeville. <coughs> Farted well, yesterday. Oh, no shit. Passed through the swamp on your own, huh? Yep. <sighs> Mighty dangerous. Kind of shrug. Look at the big shot. And it's not that it's. Not, I know it's not dangerous. It's, it's that I have to. It's just. It's. I can't. Can't waste any time. I have a, all have right. A, all right. A wedding well, to get to. <clears throat> you ever been to Swampside, Mister? Yeah, but I was here not a few days ago. Fantastic town. It's uh. <gasps> Well, let's just say, welcome into all types of people. As long as you keep your head down, you'll do just fine here. Um, uh, sounds good. <clears throat> I have no plans on killing anyone. Kind of smirk. Uh huh. That's what I meant. 
smile at him. Uh, mm -hmm. So you open the gate to head out? Yeah, yeah, I mean, this was after they opened the gate. He was, like, talking yeah. to you. Cool. Yeah. I head in. Uh, find another equally common in, you know, normal, mm -hmm. normal mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Um... gonna be six silver tonight. Alright. For your room and lodgings. Um and uh yeah. Cool. You yeah. get your key for your room. Uh do I remember what I learned prior to? Um Mm. Oh, yes. They, the uh, f your fellow servants, throughout many of the you want to call lessons or the teachings or the things they've learned or the whispers they've heard. Mm -hmm. uh, they keep saying this name over and over. It keeps appearing. And eventually you connect the dots, and the presence that you are in service to uh, is, you, you believe, is who they're talking about. And the name that they have been saying is Fenrir. 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 Sometimes right. it's just a whole page, just written over and over and over and over and over. And you're like, what is this? <laughs> I'm like... What a waste of parchment. Uh, okay, I'll write that down. How do you spell that? F-E-N-R-I-R. -R. For description, should I just say unknown... Uh, description, you can just put presumably the name of our god. That's what you're assuming. They don't go out of their way to make things very obvious. Yeah, in the name of the, of the god. Or of the great old one, or however you want to word it. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Fenrir. All right. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, again, settle down and then I head back out into town and, uh, I ask, um, hmm, uh, all right, head uh, uh, towards the, again. Is this is the are the streets cobble again? Yep. Yep. All pretty the way, well, even pretty well the, paved. Even into I the mean, uh, I mean, do you crappy explore area. Explore literally this whole uh, town. No, I just go to the what I could presume is the lower. It's end. population like more than six thousand, so that's a lot of square miles. Mm -hmm. So I guess I, I kind of head off towards the the uh, crum area part of town. Okay. I mean, sometimes the road's a little bit crappier, where it's like, you know, it's kind of cracked, and there's some, you know, parts that need to be repaired, and there's just dirt there, but you find it hard to believe that that's the exact spot you saw. Mm -hmm. right, after a little while of searching, I head back to the inn, too, uh, and then I, I'm going to eat. I'm gonna it's eat. dark now, yeah. Yeah, I will eat. Uh, okay. Some more. Uh, five copper for your meal tonight. Okay. Cool. And it's just like, mm, just a leg of lamb or something, and some bread. Cool. Unsalted and kind of 
it's not meager, but it's like, they're, they're, you know, there's no parsley on it or anything, so it's, <laughs> you know, just kind yeah. of an average meal, whatever. But it fills you up pretty good. Good. Alrighty. I get up the next day and, uh, I go to set out to Cinturon. Actually, uh, <clears throat> horses. I go to a guy who stables horses. I'm gonna go to, uh, yeah. I'm gonna see how much a horse costs. Okay. Let's see how much a horse costs. What do I have? <laughs> so you go to a stable master. Mm -hmm. And you say what? <clears throat> I ask him, um, I say, Hello, I'm looking for a horse. Uh, I was just wondering, or more, I'm looking at the prices of horses. I don't know how much that'll run me. Just browsing. Uh, see. You look a might bit young there to be buying horses. Why don't you get your paw in here? Well, my father is... he's dead. Well, that about ruins my day. Alright, alright. On your own then, is it? Uh, you looking for a draft horse or a riding horse? Or a war horse? And he just kind of gives you a chuckle. Uh... What's the cheapest horse that I know? Well, you look pretty light. Short, too. Well, you're not actually short. You're pretty tall, aren't you? You're like way taller than average. I'm 5'8". You're a tall sucker, but five, you're lean. Might be you could get away with a pony. 5'7". They can't carry as much, but it'll get you places. How much, how much does it cost? Uh, for a pony, you're looking at 30 gold coins. What I know, what I, could I test to see if this pony could hold me? It can carry up to 225 pounds. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, then absolutely. Oh, for sure. But that includes equipment and stuff. So yeah, I'm you need still to know. way below it. You sure? Oh, yeah. There's no way, I, there's no way I'm carrying, uh, 65 pounds worth of supplies. Um, there actually is a way, because things are heavy as fuck. Backpack is 5 pounds, bedroll is 7 pounds, uh, rations are 2 pounds each, water skins 5 pounds, if you have rope at 50 feet, that's 5 pounds. It adds up really quick. Daggers are two pounds each. Okay, calculator. Yeah, so you very, very quickly could approach that threshold. Alright, so I have, let's see, backpack five plus seven is my plus. What? Two pounds each for a dagger? Two pounds for a dagger each. Uh, plus rations. Two pounds each. Per ration. Alright. Then a quarter staff. Uh is dot dot uh, quarter staff. Um four pounds. Okay. Mace, four pounds. So I'm about half. Yeah. So I'm, I'm at. You're not. That's not all your equipment, is it? Uh, well, let me look. I don't think I have. <clears throat> Ten pieces of parchment, little bag of sand, uh, book of lore, leather armor. Leather armor. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. 
10 pounds. Uh, book, you said? Yeah. That large book. Uh, 5 pounds. Okay, so I'm at, I'm at 49 pounds. Uh, with all that stuff added together. That's not means... everything, though, is it? Well, what else would I have? What else did you... List everything that you have. <sighs> Alright, I'll list... This is everything in my... Did you do a bed roll? I have... Uh... Yeah, but we already did that. Okay, and you did backpack. Did you do tent? No. Okay, that's another thing. Uh... Tent... Where are you, tent? Uh... 20 pounds. Oh. Yep. Exactly. Oh! Shit is heavy. So, let's see. I'm 160 plus... 60, okay. So 69. <laughs> Kappa, that's how much weight I have. Uh... Alright, so I'm 160 pounds plus 69 equals. No, that can't be right. 60 plus. Alright, I'm 229 with all my equipment. And we're not done yet either. Common clothes is 3 more pounds. Oh my god. Um. Do you have a water skin? Yeah. Okay. That's another five pounds unless you didn't unless you added it already. No, I didn't. Okay. okay. So how much was how much was uh uh <clears throat> Okay, wait, wait a second, what? How much what did I just add up before the water skin? Common clothes. Oh, okay, three. So plus three. <laughs> And then five, so eight more. Mm -hmm. so. so I'm at 77. All right, never mind. I have apparently I have 77 pounds worth of stuff on me. Mm -hmm. Um. So, what's your total weight? Uh. I'm um, gonna say it is a 70. 239. So I am. Uh, so you get on the pony with all your gear and you're trying it out, and the pony's having a hard time. He says, Yeah, well, it could probably get you where you need to go if you weren't lugging around all that stuff. <laughs> Alright, well, I. Shoot. I guess I'm gonna probably sell. I'm gonna, yeah. I'll probably eventually sell the. Was it 10? It was 20 pounds, right? Mm hmm. Alright. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna sell the 10. So, minus. So, minus 219. So, I, I, am, I am 6 pounds under in cover. Uh, so, I hold on. You go to sell the tent. I say uh, I take off the tent, or like I move the, or I take the like the little tent thing off my uh, little, you know, mm -hmm. bed or off my backpack thing, and uh, notice that the horse is better, right? You know, can kind of. Uh, it's two twenty-five. I think I said. Yeah, I'm at two nineteen. Yeah. So yeah, it seems fine. Okay. Yeah, I tell him. Uh, yeah, I can. I'll, I'm gonna sell this anyway, so uh, I should be okay. Mm -hmm. Seems seems okay. Uh, <clears throat> if you, I'm willing to pay the the money if you're willing to sell the horse, pony. Sure, sure. Uh, I don't really deal in trade, so thirty gold. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. I produce 30 gold and give it to him. 
Thank you kindly. Now, uh, if you're gonna be needing any other equipment yeah. with your horse, yeah, or yeah, some, with your pony, uh, it doesn't come stock with, with all the bits and pieces, mind you. Bit and bridles, two gold. Uh, saddle, nothing special. Just a pack, maybe, or a riding saddle? What are you looking for? It's a riding saddle. Uh, Alright, that's another 10 gold. Oh, wait, what's cheaper? Pack. Pack? Alright, I'll do a pack. Alright, that's another 5 gold. Alright. If you want some saddle bags, that's another 4 gold. Uh, huh. What and saddle bags will what? Make it so I can carry stuff on my horse. Yeah. Better. Mm -hmm. Would I need that to carry the stuff on the horse? If you don't have those, um, I'm not gonna let you store stuff on your on your pony. Like when, if you go if you go somewhere without your pony, or if you All get right. off your pony for a second and you're encumbered, I'm not gonna let you put stuff on your pony. You have to like All put right. it on the ground or something. Yeah, I guess I'll get some of those too. All right. So I got so all together that's eleven gold. Uh, the yeah, the sounds about right to me. Cool. 11 gold. I hand him even 11 more gold. Alrighty. Alright. <laughs> Done deal. Thank you, sir. Try not to put any more weight on her, though. I can see she's straining something fierce. Uh, yeah. And I holy will. crap, I don't know... I don't know if you're going to be able to move even with all that stuff now it was eight pounds with the saddlebags uh one pound for the bit and bridle that's nine yeah and the pack is 15 pounds so that's 24 more pounds added to your horse oh my god all pounds. right so sell the tent so that's 24 more pounds make sure that you're certain what you're getting rid of here yeah uh so let's see if i sell I sell my, uh, my tent. You get rid of some of those my... daggers. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Those are two the... pounds each. Yeah. I guess I'll sell. I'll sell two of the daggers. So yeah. Uh... Um. Um. I don't. I don't have your character sheet in front of me, so I can't really. I I am subtracting. Uh, so yes, there. I sell the tent. I'll sell my common clothes. Really? You're wearing them. Oh, then never mind. You'll be don't. naked with leather armor on. <laughs> yep. No, <I'm> just <laughs> All right. Uh. Shoot. This is why you don't get ponies. You get full-on horses. But yes. It's alright. Uh... Alright. So... Leather armor's ten. Backpack's five. Le water skin's five. Alright. Mm -hmm. That's full of water, though. If you don't have any water in it, it doesn't weigh anything. Rations are... Six. Alright. So, all together, how much weight do I have on the... Let's see, how much... Ha, uh, I was at 219 minus the... Uh... Ten... So, oh, maybe I'm encumbered. Encumbered. Probably. Um, if you are encumbered on your horse, you're gonna be moving at half movement rate, which essentially is worse than moving on your own. But now that we're thinking about encumbrance, you very well could be encumbered off the pony. I think you are. Yeah. 
which I forget which page has encumbrance rules. It's like how the heck am I supposed to even take carry my stuff from if it's You're supposed to have a bigger horse. It's a pony. <sighs> Shoot. Um But that's up to you. You can totally get by on a pony if you want to. Mm -hmm. Uh Alright. So how many pounds did you say? Because I was at 219 with all my stuff. Uh, I, I was adding my my weight plus the the weight of all the stuff. And then you said, so right now I'm at 219 without the horse. Like that's how much I'd be I'd be carrying. Actually, to to uh. 15. Mm -hmm. I know, I just don't remember where I, where encumbrance rules are. Oh god, I can never find it every time I want to find it. Um, let's just say you are encumbered. But I don't know how what? encumbered. Yeah, I think you are. But I'm really annoyed right now. I can't find encumbrance rules. Okay, so let's see. I'm t let's see if I can. So my strength is. Uh, strength is 12, so. I think I would be able to. Every single time I want to find okay, encumbrance rules, I can't find it. It says, your carrying capacity is your strength score multiplied by 15. Yeah, we're not doing that. That's fucking retarded. Oh, really? How are we doing it? Are we doing I want to do the variant rule, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, what page is that? Until I can get something more substantive, <laughs> it looks like it's going to be five times your strength score. Uh, five times encumbers you lightly. So wait, how much? How much <laughs> I can carry? Yeah, five times your strength score, not your modifier. So if yeah. your strength is ten, it'd be like fifty pounds. That if you go beyond that, twelve then times five. If you go beyond that. Then you are lightly okay. encumbered, which means that your movement is impeded by 10 feet 
around. So you move at 20 feet around instead of 30. And if you go over 10 times your strength score, it's impeded to the point where you can only move 10 feet around. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you know, have a heavy backpack on. Uh, slightly, slightly uh, encumbers me. And my pony. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the horse has... The horse, plus the the pack, the saps, and the you know the bridle, the bit bridle. It's whatever, lightly but... encumbered. There's no way around yeah. it unless you get yeah. rid of most of your stuff. You are also at least lightly encumbered without it. Maybe yeah. more. I don't know. If you got rid I, of, I have I have sixty. I have sixty. Uh, sixty. Pounds I can carry without being lightly uncovered. Yeah, but you're carrying Means, uh, your armor 100. and all. So I'm at a, I'm at I'm at 215. I'm five pounds uh, below lightly uncovered. Okay. Cool. So it is actually worse. No, 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 no. no. It's exactly the same. Yeah, because the horse moves faster, right? Because the pony moves faster than you move, but it's encumbered, so it moves at your base movement rate. Alright. And the pony's way slower than a riding horse. Okay. Eventually I'll have to sell some stuff. So, yeah. It's just, it's, it's still a good investment because it can carry stuff for you. If you need it to, yeah. But you're not moving any faster. How do I? Know, how long do horses take to mature? A few years. Years. Looks like it's gonna be a long ride here, pony. Seems Good to see you. Like uh. Okay. So yeah, I uh. I guess I head out to Cinderon. Cinderon. After doing that. I, I I'm not on. I well, actually I guess I. Up on my pony, mm -hmm. probably for half the time I'm traveling, and the other half I'm walking to give it a kind of a break. Okay. Just kind of, yeah, kind of get it used to. Sure. Yeah. See so you head out. Yeah, towards Cinderon. Right. It's Cinderon. gonna, it's gonna take you. Uh, I don't know if you know actually. It's gonna take you more than a day's travel. <laughs> but you don't know how much more. Um, yeah. you just know that last time it took you a little bit more than an average day's travel. And I'm no longer in a swampy area? No. No, the road is clear. <sighs> cool. Um, is there anything you do while along the road? I'll, uh, I guess I, I, uh, no, not really. Okay. Um, three hours into your travel, you pass some fellow travelers who are headed the opposite way you are. Um, headed the same way, opposite way? Yeah. They're headed, yeah, they're headed to Swampside. And they look like the dingiest fuckers you've ever seen in your life. They look like they're homeless. You know what I mean? Their clothes are horrible and tattered and torn and ragged. They don't look like they got a whole lot of money. They're walking. They don't have horses. They don't have any value of note you can see on them. Mm -hmm. uh, but the one has a hat. And he tips it to you. I I I uh, nod at him, and wave, and uh, say hello, sir. Good morning. How fair is the road? Nice and nice and uh, peaceful. <clears throat> and he keeps walking. Unless there's something you want to say. 
<clears throat> All right. You push on. Eldritch Blast! Eldritch, Eldritch Blast! blast. <laughs> That's probably more appropriate for your evil character, but eh, you got you got bigger fish to fry. Just killing? Random killing? I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to play your character. I mean, um, until, until, <clears throat> until Xander knows, or like, is sure, or like, knows how, what he's supposed to do, he's not just going to kill people. Okay, you know? fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but, just for the record, at this point in your character's development, you are evil. Um, so. <clears throat> You push on, and you... Actually, from where you are, after eight hours of travel, uh, you can actually see population. You're starting to pass through farmland, and... You know, there's people walking the roads and such. You get the feeling that you're at l probably within an hour or less of town. Do you push on? Risk yeah. fatigue? Yeah. Alright, roll me a fatigue con check. Uh, plus... I am fatigued. <laughs> you rolled a five? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So you <clears throat> make it the rest of the way, but you are tuckered out and sore. You got some saddle sores and your ponies noticeably well, I, irritated. I walked, I walked the last half. Yeah, it's still irritated. Like it's giving you signals that it wants to rest. And, um,. I say you pull into town, but it's not a town. It's a village. It's a very podunk sort of village. You've passed through here before, so you're not surprised to see what you do see. Uh, let me pull up the sheet. Uh, Cinturon uh, population, no more than 700. Uh, small village of pretty little note. Uh, many of the inhabitants here, you've heard over the course of your travels that a lot of the people here are descendants of former citizens of towns that were consumed by the swamp over the many years. Um, the buildings of this village are small, rather dingy. They wouldn't really say they're buildings. Most of them are just like thatched huts and and some of them are actually bit buildings, like people actually have mortared uh, brick and stuff, but there's no uh, wall erected to defend the villagers against the creatures of the marsh. Instead, Cinturon relies on a crude militia of sorts. Um, despite this, Cinturon is a well-traveled town that connects merchants and supply wagons through and from the swamp. Alright. Uh, yeah, so I'm like, coming into town really tired. Kind of, you know, ready to fall asleep and uh, look for an inn. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Uh, there is one inn, and it's uh, rather shitty. Yeah. <clears throat> Do I go in and ask for a room? Mmm. See if they. Uh, the. Is this guy... really stable my horse? Yeah, you can. Just stable it outside the inn if you'd prefer. There's a place that you can just tie it up. But this village is kind of crappy, and you're not entirely... Maybe you're not entirely certain. You trust the people here. Yeah. I, I, is there somewhere I can stable it? Is there a stable? You say that to the innkeeper? I ask him, yeah. He doesn't have any teeth. He's like this old, withered man. Oh, wow, yay. <laughs> um, he says, eh, yeah, we got one of them's. 
keeps the horses and such. He just kind of like stares at you. Do you, uh, can you point me in the direction? Do you know where it is? Yeah, old Lester's place is uh, a <coughs> couple blocks down that away. Cool. All right. Thank you. Uh, will you be getting a room? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Three silver will do. All right. Subtract three silver from my. Um, <clears throat> he does not hand you a key. He just says, ah, pick any room in the house. Ten gold, ten silver equals one gold, right? Mm hmm Alright, so I have, yeah. Uh, alrighty. I head in, choose a room. Mm -hmm. You do. Uh, yeah. And then I, I it's a pretty, horse. it's a, it, there's a moderate amount of people in here. It's not too loud or anything, but because it's the only inn in this village, um, most of the travelers end up here. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I go in and sleep there. You go to sleep right away? No, I, I stable my horse at. Uh. What's his name? Lester? Yeah. You stable your horse? Yeah. Um, he tells you he'll do it for a silver. Don't cost me too much. Just gotta let him graze. You give him a silver. Excellent. He stables your horse. Do you keep well, all your supplies sleep. on it? Um, no. I mean, I, no, I, I. You, okay, so I need to know exactly what, so for future reference until we change it, what do you normally leave on your horse when you leave your horse? I leave my, uh, uh, what's it called? I'll leave, like, the, like, bottles of black ink, quill, and all my, like, writing stuff, um, that stuff doesn't like, weigh anything anyway. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't matter if you want to carry it or not. I leave like my rations and my. Uh, okay. I leave my mace and. Mhm. Mm and uh, I take my quarterstaff, of course. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Cool. Keep my, like, yeah, have my water skin on there and mm -hmm. bedroll and such. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. Yeah, and I go uh, and I go to sleep. Okay. Um, 